here. You know, when you are driving, you must know it's the same car, but the speed on the road differs. Some roads, it is saying you drive 60. 60 kilometers per hour. Others, you do 120. The same country, the same city, the same car. You must have the wisdom to know on which road are you. Mm, wisdom. Sure. The experience I share with you in being practical is the experience of your life. If you just pay attention, you will see that the Lord took you through valleys, turns, and mountains, and you are still here. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord who brought you this far will not leave you. Amen. Keep on trusting him. And keep on giving him glory. Do not turn your back on your God because a relationship did not work. God has a better one. I receive it. There is a nice miracle. I call it Malinde's miracle. But hear me, there is also a sentient miracle. I receive. Do you think that when we want to change carpets here, we, d- we do collection in the church? We even let you know. You just come, you see it, isn't it? You know in Lindes we say that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a project. <laughs> We're changing carpets. Do you think I need contribution for aircons? Hmm? Or to buy the neighbor and the other neighbor? My father is not broke. Is there a child of God who believes God? We believe. Who walks by faith? I walk by faith. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to put fuel in your faith. To tell you you will pay your children's school fees with no problem. Receive it. And refuse to say God is not there because it's not easy. Keep on trusting God. I trust in you. Yes, Lord. Difficult times may come, but God remains a covenant keeping God. Yes, thank you, Lord. There was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistine in Gerar. Then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. It says, Then the Lord appeared to him. God appeared to him. This is way before the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But God appeared to man. It cannot be strange today that God appears to somebody. It cannot be all cooked and staged that God had appeared to somebody. May God himself appear to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. I say may God himself appear to you tonight. tonight. I will see that. May you have an encounter with God. You see, once you have encountered God, you look different. You walk differently. Everything about you changes. Oh, Lord. It cannot be, oh, well, those churches, they say they speak to God. They say they have a direct line with God. Those churches that call themselves prophetic. Oh yes, we are prophetic. And proudly so. Yes. It cannot be strange that God had appeared to somebody. What's supposed to be strange is that after 20 years of ministry, God has never appeared to you. You are a fraudster. Then 
the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. Dwell in this land and I, I, I is God. I, God is committing in somebody's family. He's saying what will happen will come from me, from me. He said, I, I the Lord. I will be with you and bless you. Are you hearing this? This is Jehovah speaking. He's saying, I will be with you. I will bless you. I don't know what is the mood at work. But God is saying, beyond what your colleagues may think of you, I, the Lord, am the one who will bless you. I will be with you. Oh, God is speaking now to somebody. He's saying, fear not. This is not unto death. Because what the greatest technology out there cannot help you with. I, the Lord, commit. I will do. I will be with you. I will bless you. For to you and your descendant, I give all these lands. There is a heavenly commitment to you. That's why, even when the wind is blowing, mm. don't be shaken. Yes. Yes. Mm. There is a heavenly commitment. Mm. God yes. spoke concerning you and your family. He said, I will be with you. Mm. I will bless you. He said, I. I means that he takes responsibility of it. They will try you. They will never win. I will save it. You see, for to you and to your descendants, to you and to your descendants, say me and my family are blessed. Me and my family, we are blessed. To you and to your descendants, I give all these lands and I will perform the oath. This is powerful. This is God committing the unfailing God, the faithful God, the one who remains faithful even when you are unfaithful. Right. The well able God, the Lord God of all sufficiency, the God who does not need to borrow out there to give to you. The one in whom there is everything yes. you will ever want in your life. I receive. He said this matter is not your uncle's matter. This is not a board's matter. This is not a world's matter. This is not a committee's matter. This is heaven's matter. Pertaining your miracle is God's own commitment. Thank you, Lord. Pertaining your blessing is God's own commitment. He said, I give all these lands and I will perform, I will perform, I will perform the oh. oath which I saw to Abraham your father. I believe deep and I believe strong according to the scriptures. You cannot go anywhere unless you have a father. That's right. Everything seen in the scriptures is always linked to a father. God has never presented himself just as God. Mm -hmm. He has always presented himself as the God of your fathers. Yes. Never God of the sons. Yes. Yes. He's always. Jesus is Lord. God is generational. You must always know that. Mm. God is generational. From one, he releases others. He blesses. You see, all this I'm doing with you, Isaac, is bringing it back, is it? So that I may fulfill, perform the oath which I saw to Abraham, your father. Meaning, if Abraham was not in the picture, the story would not be in the picture. That's right. There is nothing special about the height of this young man. What is special about him is uh, he comes from the loins of a chosen one. You see, I 
will perform the oath which I saw to your father, Abraham, your father. And I will make your descendants multiply as the stars of heaven. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. I will give to your descendants all these lands. Say, I receive it. I receive it. And in your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Verse 5, and we start praying. He says, all the commitment there is because Abraham obeyed my voice. First. Abraham was prophetic. Did you know that? He obeyed the voice. Can you obey the voice? If you are able to hear and obey the voice, the covenant of God is activated. Abraham's faith is seen to the fact that he obeyed the voice. Meaning faith cannot really be faith active unless there is obedience. Faith is to agree with God that what he say he will do. Obedience is to connect with God and to God in all that he has said. Meaning faith aligns you with God. Obedience aligns you with God. You are in alignment with God as you obey him. And you are in alignment with God as you believe him. God said, verse 5, and we pray, because Abraham obeyed the voice. And here it say, my voice. Many versions put the M capital saying, my voice. When God speaks in a service like this, the service prior to this one, God said to me, he's raising man. Did you hear him? Oh, Lord. It takes a sensitive heart that is ready to jump into the water, even when I do not understand it. I just want to obey the voice. He first obeyed the voice, and he said, he, and he kept my charge. You gotta be able to hear the voice, and then you'll be able to keep the charge or the statutes, the recommendations, the directions, the commandments. You don't keep it unless you heard it. Hear me. With God, there is the spoken and the written. When we speak about the word, we speak about the spoken word. The spoken word is Rema. The written word is Logos. In the prophetic, we believe the prophetic sits on the Logos, the written. Because what is written is what attests the veracity of what is spoken. But always understand that what is written came after what is spoken. Before it was written, it was said. In Genesis, God did not write it. God spoke it. When you know the voice, you will not miss the writings. My sheep know my voice. You may have memorized Genesis. I do also have memorized Genesis to Revelation. You have memorized Genesis to Revelation. You can count all verses. You can recall chapters. But hear this. Until you are able to hear, you are still lost. The navigation works through the voice. That's why I say, my sheep know my voice, not my word. They know my voice. They know my spoken word. Mm. Mm. Oh, Lord. 
it becomes true. Lord, you have said that I should hold on to this. I have two of them in front of me. Which one is a good contract? Which one is a bad contract? Mm. If I open Genesis, I can't find it. Lord, I have Maria and Miriam. Is it Maria? Or is it Miriam? They all come with M. I see M. You need him to speak to you. Mm. You need him to tell you, this is your house. This is your altar. This is what I expect of you to do. Those who can hear, hear God, can live better. Jesus. Abraham obeyed my voice. And he kept my charge, my commandments. Kept it. Mm. If you live a life of obedience, mm. you will always enjoy the benefits of the covenant with God. Amen. Covenant is everything. Yes. The, the price is obey. Mm. Are you able to obey God and do what he say you do? Mm. Some of you, God asks you ridiculous things. He says, sleep in church. See, the nice bed you have. You start asking God, for which end? Why sleep in church? Where? How are they in fact going to permit me to sleep in church? But this is how it works. Sometimes, God asks you to do things that God says to you, this month all I want you to do is join the cleaning department, but be there three times before. Go, you just join the department and go to the leader and say, uh, my leader, can I really sweep? Say, yeah, you can, but can I come three hours earlier? We don't have the keys. God said, come. Hmm. The voice of God I remember in a prayer retreat, I was trusting him to activate that thing that I had in hearing him. He told me about the rainwater. It didn't make sense. It was of no impact. We were praying and say, there will be rain and you see the cups out there, it will be filled with water. So go and remove it. Of everything. He tell me, I want you to go deeper. Jesus. I went and it was there. It started raining. And really there was a ball out there with water. I came. I could not give a testimony because of things that I make, I'm not making sense. Sometimes obey the voice of God is when he tells you, four o'clock in the morning, I want you up. And four o'clock in the morning, all the devils in your room are blowing on you. <sighs> the dreams are coming nice. And God is saying, wake up. He's just saying. Some of us obeyed God. You're waking up at two o'clock in the morning to pray with your eyes closed. You have memorized the place. Meaning that you are still asleep. Because there is a struggle. And you pray. When you learn to obey the little voice that speaks deep inside you, give. There was a young man that I won in the Lord. He was a street kid. I was just young in the Lord also. 
His name was Gino. Gino was a thief. Gino was everything bad that he could do to survive in the street. I met with this young man the first time I spoke to him. I could see that he came from certain background. He spoke so well. His diction was uh, showing that he came from somewhere else. And I began to share the word with him. I told him I was as young as him. And I said to Gino, you know, Jesus loves you. And so, and so, and so. He had issues. His father was a medical doctor. And he had ran, ran away from the house many, many years ago. They had a child in the family who was... Uh, born with malformation and his father he say abused the mother and they had all the story that he rebelled he was in the street after doing my best preaching to him God spoke to me and he said you see the trouser that you got yesterday from your mother the only one I remember it was yellow it was shiny a little bit it was a like goldish my mom came and gave it to me. God said, give it to Gino. I said, Gino, fire on you. Your problem, I do not know where it comes from. Now you want my trouser. Gino. How did we get here? It's supposed to be church. And if I will give Gino my trouser, what will I say to mommy? I could not resist. I gave it to Gino. He put it on. He said, it fits me well. He said, you know my size. In my heart, I said, if you knew, Gino. This was my my journey to being here and saying there is a lady here. Your name is so and so. Oh yes. Hearing God to that level starts with you hearing him. Mm -hmm. Telling you wake up. Oh, Jesus. You don't want to hear him to say take off your trouser to give to someone else. But you want to hear him speak to you about somebody who is in Sri Lanka. The Lord is speaking to me. About somebody who's in Sri Lanka, close to Limpopo. Sri Lanka is not close to Limpopo. You got it wrong. I brought this young boy, you know. I gave him my clothes. I gave him the top. I took him to church. He started a new life with God. And we lost contact. I could see him there because the day he walked in church... The church took over. They gave him a home cell. He was not mine. He was we just meet and with his leaders. And he disappeared. After a while, I met him. And after a while, he disappeared. It is only many, many years later. I saw a billboard. A small poster. A conference or a seminar. Being led by Pastor Guinot. Glory to Jesus. I stopped. I say, which pastor? Uh -huh. Pastor Gino. I say, he owes me a trouser. <laughs> Find that guy. <laughs> I want my trouser. <laughs> Obey God. Oh, even Lord. in small things. Oh, well. I don't want him to give him my trouser. It's just a fulfilling joy to know he's somewhere serving God. And he just knows the one who brought me to the Lord. I may not be called a spiritual father. Because you see, it doesn't work as we think, spiritual father. I may be just the one who brought him to the Lord. But another fathered him. But he looks and says that, hmm. He showed me love enough that kept me in, my, in the house Thank of God. Jesus. Will you stand wherever you are? Lift your hand. I have a sense that God is releasing blessings in this season in people's lives. 
to prove a point that he is God and beside him there is no God. I receive it. But it will take obedience. You have to learn to obey God. Obey him in serving him. Obey him in the commandment he gives you. If you will do what God say do, you will then have God, what God say have. Lift your hand and pray. Pray the Holy Ghost. Ask God to help you. Mareka sorobo soto. Jesus. Jesus. My Jesus. Thank you so much for tuning in to our broadcast. We trust that you have been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website on www.alaliaministries.com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen. Tune in to our next broadcast and stay blessed. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.